What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have Tropical Storm Tammy that is currently expected to impact a lot of the Lesser Antilles. We have a lot to cover today when it comes to that because Tammy quickly strengthened last night. I've been talking with Weather Center Nazario uh, over the last hour or so before I started filming this video, and this is what we're th uh, what we're thinking right now. We'll kind of get into it as we get into the more of the model stuff, but right now we need to really get into the uh, the big stuff, which, which is with what Tammy's going through. Here's the situation. Tammy has quickly intensified last night into a 60 mile per hour tropical storm with a pressure of 1,003 millibars. Its current location is 13.6 degrees north, 55.7 degrees west, and it's moving west-northwest at 15 miles per hour at this current point. It is expected to be impact much of the Lesser Antilles right there. There is a tropical storm uh, watch for Barbados, tropical storm, uh, uh, tropical storm warning also for Guadalupe, as well as a hurricane watch as this thing is now anticipated to strengthen into a hurricane before it exits the Lesser Antilles. I'm surprised hurricane watches are not in effect for these parts in the, uh, in, the in the leeward islands over here this is what we ha uh, we uh, what we have going on tropical storm watches in effect for barbados dominica martinique uh, martinique antigua barbuda uh, Monst uh, uh montserrat st kitts nevis anguilla and uh, st barth and st barth uh, Lamy. I'm sorry if I butchered any of those names. I apologize. Saba and St. Estes, St. Martin and St. Martin. St. Martin is, I believe, the French side, and St. Martin, Martin is, I believe, the Dutch side. If I got this flipped, let me know in the comments down below. I apologize if I butchered any of those names. Hurricane watch in effect for Guadalupe. A tropical storm warning is in effect for Guadalupe. Guadalupe, Guadalupe. It's the same thing. I apologize if I keep butchering these names, but that's what we have going on. We have tropical storm. We have tropical storm watches from, uh, I believe, Saint Lucia. Uh, that's no Saint Lucia is the island to the south, uh, south of it. But we have tropical storm uh, watches in, a, uh, or at least tropical storm advisories, some sort of advisory in effect from Barbados all the way to the Leeward Islands. Not quite yet to the Virgin Islands just yet. We're gonna have to see what the uh, what the models are gonna anticipate. Here's the discussion we have uh, as of right now. Here's the intensification uh, intensity forecast at this current time. This is subject to change as we were at 40 miles per hour and this thing wasn't even expected to become a hurricane a few hours ago over the Lesser Antilles. But here we are in the next 24 hours it's expected to get to a 70 mile per hour tropical storm then continue to its gradual intensification phase in the next 48 hours it's expect expected to become a hurricane 120 hours 85 mile per hour category 1 hurricane as it moves out to sea over here. So that's what we have going on with the forecast cone at this current point here are, uh, here are some of the key messages that we have right here tropical storm conditions are expected to begin in portions of the lesser antilles starting on friday where tro a tropical storm warning is in effect tropical storm and hurricane conditions are possible elsewhere in the leeward islands where hurricane and tropical storm watches are currently in effect additional watches and warnings will likely be required later today Heavy rains from Tammy will begin to affect the northern leeward and windward islands. Sorry, northern windward and leeward islands on Friday, spreading into the British Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico over the weekend. This main rainfall may produce isolated flash and urban flooding along isolated mudslides across areas of higher terrain. So that's what we have going on with uh, this uh, with Tammy over here with the track models. I do uh, based off of what I'm seeing with satellite. We're going to go ahead and zoom in on it. Based off what I'm seeing, the structure of Tammy is getting better every single hour. And as we continue to sh uh, continue to take a look at it, from what I'm noticing, I'm noticing two things that are pretty interesting to me. Number one, there is p the potential from what I'm looking. It looks to be uh, like two uh, dual outflow boundaries. One outflow boundary being up here to the north, and another outflow boundary being more to the southwest, south that area over there. So. That's the first thing, and that's likely going to inhibit some more intensification and organization. The second thing I'm noticing is how organized this system became in the last in the last 24 hours. If we go ahead to go back even back to like what 120 frames, that's 20 hours back. This is where we were at before. Things were it was a lot uh, less uh, more localized, and it was start we're starting to show signs more and more signs rather of intensification of organization as time continues to to, to progress. This is going to be a multi-hour 
potential, uh, potentially multi-day process. If next thing we're going to go ahead and show you is the track models because the track models are still shifting to the west. Even with this increase in intensity, which was rather unexpected, the track model still shifted further to the west. Here's what we have. The furthest e this east model even still is bringing some sort of impact to the Leeward Islands. It's still bringing some sort of impact to Guadeloupe. It still brings some sort of impact to the islands up here. And the westernmost models are bringing impacts all the way and potential direct impact all the way to Puerto Rico over here. So... This is something that we need to pay attention to for at least for the next 72 hours as this thing continues to move through the Antilles. At this point, I'm confident to say that unless we see a very unexpected collapse in the steering currents, we're going to see some sort of impact in the Antilles. NHC is fully anticipating this. That's what we have. Intensity models are also pretty interesting. Majority of the models are now calling for a Category 1 hurricane. Some of them are even going higher than that, going up to Category 2 strength, while a few of them get up to major hurricane strength. The halves models are getting up to Category 5 strength. h Wharf's going up to Category 4 strength. So this is something we're going to have to wait and see play out as time continues to go on for you, ladies and gentlemen. And now we're going to go ahead and get to the more of the juicy stuff. We're going to go ahead and show you some uh, some models that we have right here. Here's the uh, here's the European as of right now. All these models are in agreement that the Antilles are also going to get some sort of impact. So here's the European model as of right now, showing signs of organization, development, and strengthening as we continue to uh, continue to move through. 992 millibar system as it's impacting much of the Leeward Islands up here, uh, up here over uh, over there, uh, close to the Virgin Islands. As a matter of fact, probably. Probably a category one hurricane at this point and then it moves off the and then it moves off and starts to strengthen a little bit more but, but it moves out to sea and it kind of interacts with a bit of a, tr a trough right there and kind of just uh, uh st slowly stagnates as time continues to go on no threat to land after that according to the european model one thing i do find interesting and one thing i am a little concerned about going into this is because this thing is already strengthened to 60 miles per hour this was initiated at zero z when the intensity was around 40 miles per hour my concern is that the models are underestimating the intensity and here is why there's global sea temperatures of 30 degrees celsius where this thing is and there's also very high ocean heat content around 100 to 125 ohc as i'm talking right now and why i'm concerned about this value is we've all seen what happened with hurricane lee just a few weeks ago it was given similar conditions if not just a little bit better because the wind shear right now is about 15 to 20 knots where it is right now and the shear uh, uh, with lee was around 15 uh, 10 to 15 so a little bit better conditions with lee than with this one but even still i'm concerned about this thing continuing to intensify faster than anticipated and based off of all the models I'm seeing and based off of the, uh, the of the, the I'm sorry, I'm losing my wording based off of the steering currents. This thing is not like this thing is not going to turn anytime soon before it hits the Antilles. There's just not enough time for that anymore. And based off of this, like 100 to 125 OHC, if you want rapid intensification, that will definitely get the job done. In fact, we have Hurricane Hunters right now in the storm right now. Now, keep in mind, they're not exactly finding anything that uh, that particularly major, although they are finding the eye of the uh, they are finding the eye of the storm. Flight level winds earlier were around 50 to 60 knots at that current point. And they're currently just traveling. Th they're just currently traveling and extrapolating pressure through the area at this current time. So it's an interesting situation to see how this whole thing plays out. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get to some more of the models. A couple more model runs I want to show you guys is before we get into the hurricane models is the CMC model and the GFS. The CMC model been very consistent. This whole time, the CMC has been showing organization and str and development and strengthening. Now, this was initiated at zero Z, so this was when it, this was a thousand and six millibar system as it was approaching it. So the intensification may be a little under uh, underestimated at this current point. But the CMC's track is having this thing moving through the Antilles, moving through the Virgin Islands, bringing impacts to Puerto Rico over here, and then strengthening either to a strong tropical storm or weak hurricane as it kind of moves out to sea and interacts with this. Uh, trough in this high pressure system that's over here so 
that's what we have going on. This is a bit further to the west than a lot of the models are anticipating, but it's not the furthest to the west I have seen. It's kind of in par with the HAFS models, and it's kind of in par with the CM, uh, CEM2 uh, model as well. So definitely something to pay attention to as this whole thing plays out. GFS has finally start, uh, completed the shift. The GFS is showing signs of organization and strengthening as time continues to go on. Potentially a mid-range to high-end high Category 1 or low-end Category 2 hurricane as it brings impacts to the Lesser Antilles. And the shift is now bringing the GFS pretty much to directly impact a lot of the Antilles, including parts of the Leeward Islands. As time continues to go on, then it moves out to sea, strengthens potentially to a high-end Category 2 hurricane before moving out to sea and weakening from then on out. So that's what we have going on. With all three of those models over there. Now we're going to go ahead and show you some hurricane models. Starting with the H-Mon. Then the Half's models. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, get to the H-Wharf. Because the H-Wharf is the real model I want to pay attention to. Not exactly because it's accurate. But I want to see how high it's anticipating this thing to go. Because at this point based off of what I saw last night. It's not out of the picture anymore. So here's what we have with the H-Mon showing signs of organization, development. It gets down to 1,000 millibars. Max winds are uh, around 70 miles per hour at the surface for a brief time, and then it just kind of walks out a little bit. To be honest with you, with this, I'm not exactly liking this H-Mon just because of the tr uh, just because of it just goes this, and then it back goes back, and then forth, and back, and then forth. I'm just going to uh, disregard this and go to the 0Z run. The 0Z run... Showing signs of organization and development, and it's a nice clean run as it's, the track is pretty consistent at this current point until it gets to the Antilles or uh, pretty much. I mean, okay, w okay, what is going on with these models right here? I don't exactly understand what, uh, what's happening. That's the H Mon the Halves A uh, uh, model we have pulled up right here. Here's the situation with the Halves A. This is the six Z run. The showing signs of quick organization and quick development, potentially hurricane strength as it's moving through the Lesser Antilles at that current point it's around a nine uh, around a 993 millibar system as it's moving through the Antilles and then finally exits before strengthening and this is a bit weird because uh, the, uh, the because the main sea level pressure uh, winds are not reaching hurricane strength until it gets out, uh, outside of the lesser Antilles which to be honest with you guys I anticipate this to happen a lot earlier than anticipated at this current point so that's the halfs a model uh, right now, the next thing we're showing you is the half B. Half B continues to show signs of organization development. Gets to the, the 996 millibar system, around 60 mile per hour winds at that t at that time. I anticipate that to be around 70 to 75, and then it moves through the Antilles at that current point, 990 millibar system as it st finally starts to exit that area. Gets to her uh, gets to pretty interesting hurricane strength, calling for a 938. Yeah, this say this say uh, operational error right there. So that's gonna we'll have to see how. That that whole thing plays out. You don't see fluctuations that strong unless this thing is like a pinhole. And the last thing we're showing you is the h wharf model. h wharf is showing interesting signs right here. The h wharf is actually having this thing get to hurricane strength in the next 24 hours before starting to impact much of the Antilles. It's still moving, a, it's still a little bit to the east for, uh, than the other models are, but at the same time, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out as the majority of the models have are bringing direct impacts to the Antilles. We're keep closing the video out right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.